Hey guys, um, Glenn here again. Um, I, uh, I apologize, I didn't get everything recorded last night. My battery went dead on me and uh, I didn't uh, didn't get it done. I actually didn't even spend a night out here last night. Um, I uh, ended up going back into the house to get the other battery and, and um, some other things. And uh, I had a situation at the house that I just couldn't... Uh, couldn't come back out last night but I am planning to spend the night out here again tonight it's supposed to be colder anyway so a little better um, push me a little more um, so I'm gonna try and record um, everything throughout the night you know I'll wake up and I'll record some and uh, and show you what's going on in the time and temperature and stuff if I can find a thermometer around the house um, it's supposed to get down to negative 14 to 20 tonight, so a little bit cooler. Um, but I wanted to show you here what I did. I actually finished my, uh, my shelter, um, cut some wood last night, uh, got my fire shield up and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you uh, a couple other things here that I did. So I'm going to swing this around here and show you. Okay. Um... Here is the shelter back up a little bit here so I can show you. Um, there's the front and I I took and uh, as you can see there I laid a bunch of branches down on the ground. Um, There's something very important there. Um, you want to put some kind of barrier between you and the ground. Because that ground, if your land's flat in that ground, it's going to show you quicker than anything. Um, you got to get some kind of uh, some kind of barrier there to cut that chill off. Um, I'm gonna, you can see it there. This bunch of branches laid down about uh, five, six inches thick. Um, all right. Um, here is a token made a fire shield swing around here some firewood I cut it's a fire shield right here that'll help reflect that heat back in um, back into my shoulder and then uh, right there that'll help reflect reflect that heat down on top of me too you gotta watch how close you get that though how big you make your fire because you don't want to catch that stuff on fire um, firewood I cut last night there's a knife I made, nothing uh, fancy, uh, just out of an old rasp, um, works pretty good, anyways, um, come back around here to the back, I'll show you the back end of uh, the shelter, here's, uh, I covered it with snow, um, like I said last night, the more insulation the better, and you get mound that snow up on there, That'll really help keep you warm throughout the night. Alright, um, I wanted to show you something here. Um, something I just kind of, I carry with me when I, uh, am going out in the woods. Um, it's just a butt pack and a back pouch. And, um, I took the slings shoulder sling off of my uh, rucksack um, one of my rucksacks and um, I just took took that and put it on there and it makes it really nice for carrying that I mean I can sling these over my shoulder and I can go you know go for a long 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 time you know <laughs> it's don't weigh much it's just to have a few things in there but that um, that there pack there I could go for days with that um, I have several different means of fire starter starting fires in there um, I have uh, a, a space blanket a reusable uh, space blanket um, a little saw extra knives um, hot chocolate uh, all kinds of stuff in there um, so just a little tip bit there you can kind of see but uh, it works, works really well 
Um, another thing I usually carry along is uh, this little uh, Rossi. Um, nice little gun. And this, I have the uh, 20 gauge barrel on there now. Uh, you can get a 410 for it, 243 and a 22. When you buy it, it usually comes with a either a choice of a uh, 12, 20, or a uh, 410 um, and a 22 barrel all in one. It costs like 100 bucks. It's a real cheap gun, nice, nice, good gun, single shot. And I also took um, back here in this section back here in the butt, and the stock there is hollow. Um, it makes it really nice. I have. Uh, an extra thin little knife, a um, couple extra shells, uh, several fire starters in there, um, fire cubes, um, uh, uh, flint and steel set, and just a just a nice little kit you can fit right in the back end of that gun there, and it makes a nice little little survival gun, um, and that's a little Rossi, um, nice nice gun. Well, I'm gonna get a fire going here uh, make some hot chocolate and uh, we'll uh, take and go from there I'll try and record here I'll record this starting fire here in a second and give you a little bit of advice there all right catch you later hey guys I'm back here uh, I'm gonna show you starting this fire um, Normally, I carry along a strike force or something like that, um, but uh, I'm just going to use my um, cigarette lighter. Um, I, uh, I always carry a cigarette lighter, about 10 foot of 550 cord, um, a knife, and a uh, knife sharpener, just a real little knife sharpener. You can sharpen a serrated edge and everything. I just, something I always carry everywhere I go. It doesn't matter where I go, I carry it. Um, so, and I'm going to use, I always carry these, uh, when I'm out and about, I always carry these fuel bars with me. Um, they're real cheap and guaranteed fire. Um, I carry them around wherever I go. Um, I went and got some of that bark off of the, um, that uh, cedar tree, uh, real nice, fine stuff. Um, you can strip this down even more, but with this fuel bar, fuel bar, um, I won't have to. So, but one thing you want to do is you always want to start out when you're starting your fire. Start out with a real, real fine branch. I mean, you get a little fire going. It doesn't matter if it's raining or snowed for a long time. Maybe we had snow for several days here and I can still start these these little branches will dry out real real quick and um, they'll start up like that. So you get a real good handful of those um, and then you get a little bigger stuff to put on top. I have that nice and handy and then you can go from there, build from there. Um, so what I'm going to do you just tear these suckers open and you can see um, the bar inside there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the blue bar inside. And it, it you got f fuel there for no oh, a good five, six minutes there. Um, so you just take that and uh, get your get your stuff, put it on top there, and um, get it going, and then. I mean, you can, it don't take much, it's gone, that's it, just one little spark, start these things, these bars right up, that's why it's so nice to carry them along wherever you're going, I mean, you can get a, get a fire going in, in no time, um, here you can kind of see, um, west is actually that direction, uh, the wind's coming kind of southwest, or, yeah, southwest, out of southwest there, um, tonight but now you can see a little bit here with the smoke um, why you want your your door to be uh, facing kind of north or south south probably preferably um, you get any kind of sunlight 
A lot of times, though, if you go to the south, you get a lot of your wind coming out of the southeast, southwest, whatever. Um, so you want to kind of watch that. So that's kind of how I start my fires. A lot of times, uh, you can't if you don't have have um, fuel bar and stuff, you can get use that bark. That bark off of the cedars works excellent in the birds' nests and stuff like that. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get the get some snow here and get my canteen cup and get set up here and, and start melting some snow and I'm gonna make me some hot chocolate so um, like I said I'm gonna try I'm gonna well I'm gonna come back out here tonight and um, spend the night in here and uh, it's supposed to get down to 14 degrees below zero so um, we're gonna spend the night out here and um, I'm gonna try and videotape uh, throughout the night. That way, uh, you know, you can kind of see what's going on and <laughs> see that I'm am actually doing it and not just saying it. Um, so, uh, without that, that said, I'm gonna shut her down here. I'll gather up some snow and start melting, and uh, I'll film it, show you what I'm doing. All right. Here we are again. Got my fire started. Uh, nice little fire going. Feels real, real nice. That reflector is doing a great job shooting that heat right back into me. Um, there's my canteen cup. I'm just melting the snow down. Um, I want to tell you one thing. It does take a while to melt enough snow to make a nice cup of hot chocolate or whatever. But um, you know, snow's a nice. Nice clean thing. A little bit of, a little bit of dirt in there. Pine needles and stuff won't hurt you. Pine needles, good vitamin C. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. Um, got a nice little pile of kindling there. Um, and uh, just uh, sitting here chilling. Um, wanna take the time now too to say uh, thanks if, if you watching this video out there on YouTube um, I want to thank you for for watching it and like I said I'm by no means some great uh, professional outdoors outdoors person that <laughs> knows everything um, and just uh, enjoy doing this stuff and uh, had a lot of chance in the past that I've done stuff like this quite a bit and uh, haven't haven't had the opportunity to do this for quite some time now um, I was uh, <laughs> building my home and and stuff like that and me and my wife were living in a a wall tent um, from May to uh, December 11th so uh, I was building the home and stuff and I didn't have much opportunity to come out and, and do this type of thing um, but I finally finally got the opportunity to do it and it's, it's great to do it <laughs> be doing it again you know um, like I said you don't learn nothing by sitting on the couch and doing you know doing nothing um, watching TV and doing nothing you don't learn nothing you don't nothing gained <laughs> So uh, get out there and and enjoy the enjoy nature and enjoy everything and um, it's a great time. And like I said, learn all you can, learn all you can. Um, it's a great opportunity. You never know when you might be in a situation where you need this stuff. So you bet might as well practice it now when you don't need it, and um, that way when you do need it, you're prepared. Um, always be prepared. So, I'm going to shut her down here and uh, melt some more snow, and I'll record a little bit in a little bit. Alright, catch you later. Alright guys, um, got my uh, snow melted, and got, uh, got my water boiling there. Um, 
something else I wanted to show you here. Um, something I carry along with me um, all the time is um, instant cereal, oatmeal. Um, these here things can be great. You get out in a situation where uh, you know might need to warm yourself up, um, get that core temperature up, stuff like that. Um, hot chocolate and um, oatmeal. I carry these along with me um, all the time. Uh, just a good, good source food for you and, and help keep you going. Um, there's uh, a lot of things out there that you can that you can uh, use. Um, all kinds of instant cereals and and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, this is just a good suggestion to throw things in your pack there. If you're going out for a trek somewhere, you never know, you know, you never know when, uh, when you might get in a situation where you need it. Um, you might as well be prepared, always be prepared, you know, um, Dave Canterbury has a saying um, that uh, two is one, one is none. Um, you know, you carry carry a couple knives along in your pack. Carry carry two of two of each because one fails. You know, um, you're done. You you you're done for. But if you have two, you have something to fall back on. Um, you uh, you always want to be be prepared. Um, anybody out there watching these videos, um, if if you see something I'm doing that I you think I could be doing better, um, let me know. Uh, like I said, I want to learn learn more than what I know already. Um, I always want to be learning. Uh, I don't want to be somebody that thinks, hey, I know it all. Um, so if there's somebody out there that, that knows, knows some more about what I could be doing different and, um, could better myself, you see something I'm doing here that you think, well, it might not be quite all that great, um, let me know. I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you, uh, if you do that, and again, I appreciate you watching this. So, uh, that said, I'm gonna... Relax a little bit here and uh, enjoy myself a good old cup of hot chocolate. Warm myself up a little bit, and um, like I said, I'm gonna come on back out here. I'm gonna go back to the house here in a little bit, and uh, then I'll be coming coming back out here later on this evening. I got some things I got to do at the house, take care of the house, and then uh, be coming back out this evening and I'll record that and uh, show you guys uh, what I got going on here and make you, uh, let you see that I'm not uh, just bluffing you I'll let you know that I really am going to be staying out here and if I can find a thermometer um, I'm going to um, try and uh, find one there, find a thermometer and I can show you you know what temperature is and stuff like that so uh, find show you the setup that I have um, in here when I get uh, get everything set up and that so uh, with that said um, I'll uh, catch you here a little bit later on all right later